Welcome to another episode of the Entertainment Burrito Podcast. Episode 007, You Only Die Once? Actually, did you know that? Yeah. That's the name of this movie. The next James Bond movie is going to be called that. It's going to be called Sean Connery. You actually only die once, did you know that? Uh, E3 special. E3, you only die once, E3 special. E3 special. Good, perfect. I'm here with my Coco my uh, my brother in arms, my uh, the, part-time lover. Your uh, your ratchet to your clan. My your, daxter to my jack. Your no, I'm gonna be a jack. To I don't want to be a fucking weasel. You I'll be, be Ellie. You can be I'll, the I'll stupid be weasel. I'll be Ellie. Yeah, Ellie. I said Jack and Dexter. I never yeah, said. Yeah, but after I said Joe and Ellie. Oh, I didn't hear you. I don't because I don't really care for what Sam, you have to say. Sam to your Drake. But they're both Drake. Sam to Nathan. Nathan yeah. Drake. Nathan. So, so could, like, you, could you beat that game so we can talk about it? Could could you do that for me? Eventually, eventually one time I'll beat it. Could could you do it like within a week? You think that's possible? Probably, yeah. We could try. Okay. How about you just finish? Uh, Anyways, I give it the old good old college try. Anyways, uh, episode 007, No double oh seven games announced. Unfortunately, yes, we we talking about E three and our hopefully. What's your name, by the way? I never said your name. I love it though. What's my name? Sanchi. Bob or Sanchi? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we changed names since episode 007. We're also in a new venue. We're in our new studio that we bought. <laughs> no. With all the money that we make from YouTube. <laughs> yes, you could say that. All the money. All the five all cents All the two cents, two cents. Two yes. cents. Don't let them know how much we really make. Yeah. Aim low. We're going to talk about E3. If you saw our prediction episode, then you probably know what didn't. we're... You probably didn't. No. More people saw it than any other video. They did see it. That's true. Fuck you. Yes. So, what do you want to start off with? Let's go in somewhat of order. Sure. Okay. Wait. Let's 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 do this. Wait. wait let's rank them. The, the the conferences. But we're not going to be even talking about all the conferences. So should we really rank them? Yeah. Because we, we seem like we're being... Well, we're biased to the things we like. It really doesn't matter. I don't care about that anymore. Yeah, but, we're biased to the things we like. Simple as that. So, so, so let's so, rank it. So, uh, Sony? So, so I think Sony was one. I can't choose between Bethesda and uh, and uh, Ubisoft. I I think Ubisoft was better. It was long. It was longer, but... It yeah. was longer and it had no no pace at all. Um, I couldn't... I don't know. I like Bethesda's stuff more, maybe? Because Ubisoft, I just liked Seth Bark pretty much. Wildlands was okay. Wildlands, yeah. well, actually, Wildlands the, 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 was okay. The, the, the first two games they showed were really good, and then it got into like a low, low, low. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about any other shit. Like, but the same thing with Bethesda, I don't care about Dishonored. Okay, so, so basically, we could be Sony and Bethesda or Ubisoft and Bethesda. Let's go like that: Sony, Ubisoft, Bethesda. I think Microsoft was four, and then uh, EA was definitely e last. EA's uh, last. E EA's last. Where sure. does Nintendo's Treehouse event fit into this? I, I just saw part of it. <laughs> I want to say they rank number one. Because right, they, they, they're Zelda. in a treehouse. In a treehouse? That's they, why? It's called treehouse. Were they, were they in an actual treehouse? Because I, I didn't want No, to I don't even know that. why they call it a treehouse. Fucking people. I don't know. What fucking liars. I don't know. Whatever. So, uh, how about we start from worst to best? Worst to best? Okay, about uh, every, er, anything in general of E3? Yeah, or no, just... no, no, I mean, like, in terms of conferences, like, we go EA, we talk about... Okay, I'll tell you quickly EA, because there's nothing to talk about. EA, there was nothing EA there. was nothing to talk about. There was nothing there. Wasted an hour of my life. Yeah, pretty they much. They showed little clip bits. I, I did it, do I seen that, like, two seconds of the visceral Star Wars game? That looked pretty cool. That's about it. That was a waste of time. That was about it. The Mass Effect showing pretty much nothing, just explaining a paragraph, maybe? No, about you, things? You, you know, like, when... How bad it was when my my top moment was the two seconds of the visceral game. Yeah, that's not good at all. That's not like that's like still like two years away. Yeah, there was there was almost nothing there. Yeah. Nothing. I don't care about sports games. If you're into that, I guess it's great. Yeah. Uh, I thought I thought it was cool what they're doing with the soccer game with the FIFA. They have a story mode. I thought that was cool. I guess you know I don't I don't care for soccer games or mm -hmm. or sports games to be honest. Boxing and um and the, yeah, boxing games are like the only sports games I ever played. And they don't. They barely make those anymore, anyway. So, I don't care about any of that. Yeah. Uh, then, but that's pretty much for EA, right? I'm trying to no think guys. of anything else no. that was of of importance. No. Uh, fuck. Wait, Battlefield One. Did you care? I don't uh, care. I, I think that, that, that it looked, looked pretty. It looked nice, but but you know, don't they all? <laughs> four, four killed it for me. I'll tell you one thing. One thing. You ready? Tell me. Titanfall. 
I like the single player because it has max. Oh, Titanfall was it was EA. Yeah, EA. Yeah, that was one of the first things they showed. Even though that trailer got leaked in the morning. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's, it still it's just left a bad impression that, you know. Yeah, I, I, I might get Titanfall. Uh, that looked cool. People are saying good things about it from EA, uh, E3. So yeah, I, I, I might pick it up. Yeah, it just was, you know, the big thing was Mass Effect. And they just didn't and they, they dropped the ball. That it, it gave a bad taste for that company in general, yeah, right? That's why. Yeah, me too. But yeah, like, we think about it, oh, you at least, you know, show off Battlefield and you show off. Titanfall, you expect, oh, you know, but yeah. the, but it's, it's just like the overhyped stuff of Mass Effect and, you know, of, you know, Star Wars and stuff like that, that they just completely dropped the ball. Yeah, the funny thing is, it's like, I, was, I already had a bad taste from Mass Effect 3, you know, from all the Mass Effects, to be honest, after I realized that the stories were complete bullshit. So I was like, maybe this is the one that'll bring me back into it. <laughs> no, not anymore. I was, well, I was, I was expecting a lot of stuff, you know, but they didn't show... They showed a little bit. They showed your new spaceship and then a couple battle scenes or a couple scenes in general and a lot of behind-the-scenes shit. That has no That's place there, really. About it. You know? It's literally just about so, it. It's little by little. It's like, ah, you're good. Try to get my trust again. You're not doing that job. Oh, wait till the fall. And I doubt it even then, you know? Nah, so, I, I doubt it as well, yeah. It, I, I still have some much. hope, you know? But we'll see. We'll see. Right. Move on. Moving on. We'll move on to Microsoft. Uh, uh, my, Minecraft, man. You can't wait for that? You you're a big fan of Minecraft, right? Of, of them using, well, what I thought was cool from their conference was the you buy it on Xbox and you get it on PC. I, I thought that was interesting. That was cool, but it also makes their system. Yeah, more obsolete. No point. No point. It's just speaking of no point. Like I, I found it weird that they like, oh, here's a new slim. And he has HDR graphics. It's 4K cool streaming. Cool stuff, right? Right. And then at the end, like, oh, here's here's a new console releasing next year. Yeah. Which which makes you think like, oh. Could you imagine the guy that started to interrupt? The guy that would go between the one he has now to the slim, and then next year to the to whatever it's going to be called in the end, mm -hmm. the Scorpio as of now. But that's okay. just a code name. Could you imagine that guy? I'm sure those people yeah, exist. I'm, I'm sure, I'm but, sure okay. but that's crazy. The thing is, is like it, it's going to flop. I, thought, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to flop, because, but it's not going to do well. Because if you think about it, as well, if you think about it, like you literally just wait a year more, and then you get the better console, even though you, it's probably going to be twice as much. Right, right. Not, not twice as much, probably. But I think more. the majority of people don't know at all. Yeah. But when they do know, when it comes out next yeah. year, they're like, wait a second, that new one just came out a year ago. Why? Then that's when the shit's gonna, the shit storm is going to happen. Yeah. If they release it at the, at the same time, that I, feel, I think that would have been the smarter move to release the, the Slim and... and Three Slim. models? You're, you're talking about at, at, at once? Wow. No, no. I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, get rid of the, the Xbox we have now. And just have the but slim. But they can't because their whole thing is, oh, don't worry, that's still alive and well, and that's still, you know, the big one, the main one. You know, we just have these two upgrades, so it's it's a, it's a big mess right now. Yeah. You know, and I know none of them plan to do this. From what I've been reading, it's just that uh, AMD, the the CPU manufacturer mm -hmm. or GPU, whatever, uh, they uh, they've been like releasing like really cheap cheaper products. Yeah, and that's pretty much forcing everybody to do that. You know, that that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. I think that's also the reason why the NX is coming out. You know, mm -hmm. this early, uh, obviously the Neo, but. I think that's been scaled back, to be honest, because they want to wait. You know, they saw things. I really believe what you were saying last time. They're seeing things and they're holding back. They're holding back the cards because yeah. they really don't need it. You know, but. Uh, the, the, I, I think they were kind of hoping for what Microsoft that to, to see what, the response from Microsoft and learn from that before they announce it. Yeah, super smart. I, I think that is it's just still like, you know, like like this. And now they announced the slim or the slim Xbox one. And now you, you'd be like, oh, a year later, I have. This thing. Right. It's, it sucks for them. Yeah. You know, luckily, I don't, I don't care about their stuff, but it just sucks in general. In terms of the games, what do you think about it? I don't care for Gears of War. Um, mm. That's not my thing. Uh, it's, let me just say really quick. I don't want to spend mm. too much time because I, I really don't want to be a negative person. Uh, a negative person. Uh, the best third-person shooter in terms of mechanics just the worst fucking story and environment in my opinion in my oh, opinion for gears for gears yeah. so it, it's great mechanics great feel it's just like terrible story and I, I don't like the way they look like you know yeah. everybody looks like a goddamn bodybuilder you can't have all arnold's there's yeah. only one arnold don't <laughs> fuck with him you know, the um one thing that one thing that i saw the, the final fantasy demo it, it, it wasn't oh. it, it, it didn't look that good yeah god it didn't look good for, at for, all for, for, it was for, for, it was a terrible hype. demo yeah I mean, it was just the demo. I wouldn't say, from what everybody's saying, is don't judge the whole game because of that terrible demo. You know, also, they were saying there was a problem with the guy playing as well. And I kind of saw that, especially with how he was moving. But 
Don't judge from that demo. I mean, Nobody no. should judge from well, that demo. Um, what, what else? What else caught your eye or about the Microsoft conference? Mm -hmm. um, Same shit, man. Yeah. It's just it was like the, it, nothing was like. I mean, Scalebound the, looked cool. Yeah, Scalebound. Scalebound looked cool. I, I think out of that conference, I think Scalebound was the best one because it was made by Platinum Games. But a lot of people are saying there's a lot of problems with that too. So yeah, it, it looked cool. Though. It, 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 it has, did look cool. It has it has like the pedigree of of being you know um, a good game. Yeah, so I mean, we have to wait and see. That's, I don't know. Overall, I didn't, there's not one thing I cared about. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I cared about well the non-exclusive games that they showed, which is normal for every every yeah, conference. Awesome. Um, the Tekken Seven. Tekken 7. I thought that looked cool. That that fight scene. It looked very different yeah, from other fighting I'm, games. I'm not. I'm not a big fighter guy. I'm not either. I thought, of, but I thought it looked different enough. You know yeah, that you might. Oh, I might, I might want this. Yeah, I mean, I have Street Fighter Five for the sake of you know a couple of friends wanted to play it, so mm -hmm. I was like, oh, why not? Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, did I regret this decision? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll play when the story mode comes out later this month, though, and I'm sure I'll have fun with that. Probably. But uh, I don't. I shouldn't say regret. It's just I didn't put hours into it like I thought I would. No. I put almost nothing. But um, I think that was it from that conference. Yeah, I, I think I, I can't remember anything. Like you know, it's like okay, that's what I remember. No, if you can't remember, that's usually not a good sign, anyways. Yeah. So let's move on to, to uh, Bethesda. Bethesda. Uh, Bethesda. They had Dishonored two. Dishonored 2, they had uh, a tease for Wolfenstein <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 2. I saw that, uh, the Wolfenstein... What New Colossus. It? New Colossus. They show Skyrim HD, or not HD, or Skyrim Remastered. Remastered, yeah. They showed Quake, I don't care. Yeah. That's what they show. Some shit. Yeah. Some Doom shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Doom is free? First level is free for the weekend? For the week? Oh, that's right. I forget that. <laughs> that was about it. Yeah. yeah, not not much. But then now we get to the better one, the top, the top two, and um, yeah, let, uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft or Ubisoft, whatever it's called. Uh, the first two games they showed, uh, fucking awesome. Were they in order? The first two, not really, right? Yeah, they were. It was it was it was, it was the, the um, Tom Clancy one, and then the it went. Same, oh, okay, I didn't realize it was that was it. I'm pretty sure it went. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure it went in order. Um, yeah, uh, Badlands yeah. looks like. It looks really good. It looks really fun. Well, wait. Badlands. What am I, why am I calling that? What was it called? Wildlands? Wildlands. Wildlands. Badlands. Bad Boys 2. Bad had boys. a Bad Boys 2 feel if you it think did, about it. it. Did, it That's did. why. I remember somebody saying it had a Bad Boys bad lands. feel. No, no bad, bland boys. bad lads, man. No, in, in terms of, you know, seeing them play, I mean, like, of course, they're obviously staged. Because they, you know, oh, do this, do this. But, like, in terms of, like, the mechanics of it, I'm like, oh, I, I could see, you know, Four guys going into a mission and doing stuff like this. The four of us, you yeah. know, well, two here, uh, two somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. this or something. Fuck uh, those people. I can't believe we're going on a vacation with them. Yes. Just, just, just Side note, be prepared for our Anime Expo coverage. And whenever, plug. whenever plug. that happens, like Good beginning plug. of July. It will happen in less than two weeks, but we won't upload until five months from now because that's how we do. This probably won't be uploaded until next E3. <laughs> Perfect. Here's our E3 2016. Here's what we thought last year. No, because at the end we're gonna make predictions for next year. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, we'll make them twelve months or eleven and a half months. Hey, before. nobody will do that, but we will. Exclusive. Exclusive. I'll tell you things that are gonna happen next year. And then, then when you see those things happen, you come back to this video and be like, "You are the prophet." You're the prophet, exactly. So back to be on topic a little bit. Badlands was awesome. <laughs> Badlands, hell yeah! Yeah, fuck it. Wild, wild Wetlands. <laughs> wet, wet, wild, wet and wild lands. Wet and wild. The park. Wet and lands was, was was I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. South Park looked fucking awesome as shit. Mm -hmm. But I definitely want to play Badlands like real bad. I'm gonna call Badlands right now before we talk about South Park. I feel like that'd be a great, uh, just a great co-op game. You yeah. know, it it gave me a GTA Online feel, mm -hmm. and I love GTA Online. We all love it. You know, God, how many hours I ever put into that game. God knows that yacht I have, beautiful. But I feel like this is very similar, just more mission based, yeah. you know. And I'm fine with that. So it's it's something to consider as a great co op game. Do like, you know, we'll see how it turns out. But South Park, go on with so, that. So I, I I love Stick of Truth. I know you didn't play Stick of Truth. Not yet. Yeah, it came at a time when I was super busy, so I never had a chance. I mean, like it reminds me of Stick of Truth, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm. Like I, I thought the whole trailer of them just trying to make first to make a billion dollars. <laughs> You, do you like the 
the new setting. Well, it's not really setting new. Yeah, oh, yeah. New gimmick. It's oh, the yeah, superhero yeah. movies. Superheroes instead of like the the the, the, the role playing game. Right. It was you know, back then. It was just like Lord of the Rings, no, maybe yeah. Final Fantasy in some sense. Yeah. But now it's it's, it's pure it's like pure, pure, superheroes. pure superheroes now. No, which I, I, <laughs> I thought like the trailer was hilarious. Oh yeah, like, it, I, it was. I, like I couldn't stop laughing. No, I know, I know. Uh, especially says like, oh you know about, about about you know Tolkien getting his own movie. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like come on, Marvel snuck it in the Phase Three. <laughs> <laughs> no one was looking. Oh, the Black Panther. <laughs> Black Panther, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. But that's when I lost it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna mm-hmm. get the game. I, I, I have to pre-order it. That, 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 I think that's the one game I'm gonna pre-order that comes out this year. Yeah, I already did too. No, there was a there was a couple that I pre-ordered. I I just pre-order usually because of that Amazon thing. Yeah, the Amazon. Because I don't want to forget about it, you know. That's why I, I almost pre-order everything at this point. The pre-order the things I know I'll like. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some games that I am like oh, I'm not too sure until uh, I see reviews. Yeah, especially since uh, since you're getting the Stick of Truth for free. Yeah, so for PS4. I, I definitely so, so did that, already. That that game you have to play. That That's, game that game is so much fun. No, that'll be a great Christmas game. You know, that and uh, Kingdom Hearts. They they both come out in December, so I can't wait for both. As Christmas games or December games, whatever. Uh, what else did they show? Uh, Watch Dogs Two. Don't give a shit about. Uh, uh, what, what See, I'm being, was okay. I'm being negative again. Shit. Um, shit. The the last game they showed was the the Steep or whatever. Steep, yeah. I thought I thought it was a bad game to end with. I think it was the best game, man. <laughs> I, they honestly should have ended with fucking South Park or whatever. Um, they should have ended ended it with Watch Dogs if that's apparently their big game, you know. Yeah. That's what they should have ended it with. Uh, it, it just seemed boring to me. The GoPro Simulator 2016. I mean, does anybody really care about extreme sports games? Nah, I no. mean, like, I think the last one was Tony Hawk. So that was like the last series that actually people cared about. Yeah, and like that declined in popularity oh, yeah. like big time. I remember the last Tony Hawk game. It oh, came out last year. Apparently it bombed. Yeah, it, it had a bunch of glitches and stuff like that. Yeah, so terrific game. Yeah, but whatever. So anything else from that conference? Um, that you think of the movie? movie. They they show oh, the that has a screen movie that I don't care about. That's just all behind the scenes. Yeah, you would think they would show like, like oh, here's a teaser for the next game because I know this year they took a break from Assassin's Creed. Yeah, they, yeah, to make the movie. No, not not for that. Really? They yeah. just they just took a break because they wanted more time to you know because the franchise has been going every single year. Remember yeah. since almost since almost it started, so yeah. they just wanted to take a break this year, from what I understand. Whatever. So now, now our favorite conference is Sony. We save the best for last. Yes. No, I'm sorry. The best for last is, is Nintendo Treehouse event. We will talk about that at the end. So we, we'll talk about we'll talk about this OK conference. You know, the year of dreams too, as people call it. Your dreams too. Part two. I mean, the, the what I liked about it was that they just showed games. There was no talking. Almost no talking. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Because you see, with all the other conferences, especially Ubisoft. They, fucking, they love to talk. They fucking talk. <laughs> they have the conference talking. This it was just game, 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 and yeah. orchestra. That's yeah. It. Oh, uh, fucking Bethesda did that with the Dishonored guy. Yeah. yeah like, I know he wasn't, you know, he was a Native America, so it was like it was it was hard for him to like talk about it, you know. But he just kept on going, you know. I'm like, we got it, dude. We got it, you know. So yeah. he should get excused because he wasn't a native and it was hard for him to convey the language and to explain his game. So he should be forgiven for that, but. That's that's the wrong way to do it if you're a native. If yeah, you're no, it, it, I, I like how they just literally just show show, show trailer after trailer after trailer and they of games we wanted games all we wanted. the first parties. That's it. They're all out now. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 it's, it's still except for Sucker Punch. Well, they came out uh, two years ago, so it's it's about they're they're in hard development now. That's normal, completely normal. Yeah, I think about it, you know, because they showed off. Well, let's start in order. They showed off God of War first. Favorite game, my favorite game there, easily. <laughs> Honestly, I I think it's my third game. Third game? No, out, out, out of all out of all out of all E three. Oh, that's my favorite game easily. That was the best opening. Yeah, I, yeah, because you didn't know what it was. Like, oh. I mean, I from that music, you're like, dum, dum, you know, like I got the feel like this is something epic. What's an epic game? God of War, easily. You know, uh, that was a great trailer. If you're gonna do a, a continuation of a game after a while, make it completely different. They did. God, that was beautiful. Uh, it, it, um, where, where does it take place at? I don't remember. Uh, it's uh, Valhalla. Um, uh, Scandinavia, Scandinavia, if we want to be exact. That's where it takes place. But yeah, like, like Nordic or whatever the fuck it's called. can't remember the top of my head. Norse. Norse. I don't Norse. Know. I don't know. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, from what I saw, they have 49 nominations. 
from E3. For, for, for Game of the... Yeah, for Game of the Show. That's a fucking lot, you know? Mm -hmm. So that that was that was something. I've been waiting for that game to come back for a long time. You know, Ascension I didn't care for because it was more the same. But Did they announce a release date for it or no? Uh, no. They, they said, uh, like, not this year. That's all they said. <laughs> not They said soon, but not this year. So I'm guessing maybe holiday 2017 yeah, or so. early 2018. Both sound... Yeah, Both reason. sound, it won't go further than that, in my opinion. It has to stick to one of those. Oh, it no. will, it will. Uh, unless it gets delayed. Yeah, well, I'm saying if they say, if they shoot for 2017 mm -hmm. uh, holiday, then, and if it gets delayed, it'll be no matter what, uh, early 2018, for yeah, sure. Just like Uncharted and, and um, Horizon. Right, yeah, usually that's that's how it goes anyways. They just mm -hmm. like, oh, we'll just do it for the next quarter or next uh, mm -hmm. whatever. Then the second game, what was the second game? Days gone. Days gone. Uh, skeptical about it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the, the only question, like, the only thing about the conference that made me feel uneasy was, you know, they announced Days Gone in the beginning, and then how they end the show is with gameplay from Days Gone. Because, you know, it was never meant to be there. Yeah. Because it, it, it makes sense, you know, if you announce the game, you show gameplay when after you announce it. Not, they've done that a few times. Not half an hour later. Yeah, they've done that a few times in a few conferences before. They show a trailer just to, like, to get you teased, and then in the end they do that. It's it's not often, but they do that a few times. So it's it's not unheard of. But but then but then they should have done that with a bigger game like God of War. But they already showed gameplay. No, but <laughs> they you showed me, full you, gameplay. You give me like 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 they have the little trailer, they, they have the little cinematic, and they cut it, and at the end they they sh they continue on the trailer of them playing the game. Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah. that, that's how they chose to do it, so. You know, it, like, like, a lot of people were saying that, like, even though Sony's like, no, that some they took something out at the end. Oh, no, no, they definitely took out the Neo in the end. That's obvious. Mm -hmm. I have no question that that's what, exactly what they did. That's why they made that decision to put Days Gone in, in uh, the gameplay in the end. It, maybe it wasn't never even going to be gameplay in the show. Maybe it was always going to be, you know, at the demo station, uh, mm -hmm. like they had the, the behind closed door stuff. Um, that was put sore, you know, purely because of... Uh, of uh, Neo being taken out. That's what I believe. Uh, that's yeah. what many people believe. Hey, because it, it just it just it just doesn't fit. Like you know. Yeah, it, it's oddly placed. It's oddly placed. It's it's not a minus. It's just oddly placed. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean. Uh, but let's talk about the game because we're talking about other nonsense. Uh. But it's gone. Yeah. I mean, like the well, this could just do it as a whole. So we're gonna talk about it twice. That um. Yeah, let's just do it now. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it it seemed like a fun game. It seemed like, you know, like um, a typical zombie that you have like six million zombies. They're not zombies. What are they? They're freakers. They're people that are alive with a symptom. Think, think I am legend. Okay. That's what they are. But they're not vampires. I am legend was vampires, right? Yeah, it was. They were technically vampires. They were vampires in the books, not so much in the movie. Yeah. But uh, that's basically what it is. It's just like a disease. Really? And they just makes them freaks. They're called freakers. That's interesting. And there's different kinds of freakers. Like that little golem looking one, that little baby looking one. That one doesn't like the horde, from what I read. That one hates the groups, you know? So yeah. that one's always alone. And then you have the uh, horde of people. That's, 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 that's interesting. I know. That, that's, uh, that's what made me less skeptical. I was like, oh, that's a different take on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but like having them like face six million zombies, I, I thought, like, okay, this is, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, that's... Yeah, and, and I remember uh, reading that the guy that was showing the, the demo to people on the floor, on the show floor, he was saying like, yeah, you saw uh, during the stage, that guy was shooting at them and laying traps. He's like, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just ran the fuck away, you know? So you have different ways of getting yeah. away from these people, you know? Yeah. So I was like, oh, there's variety to it. Yeah, because well, if you show the demo, it's just him running away, that's, right. not, that's not fun. Mm -hmm. If you show him shooting six million zombies, right? that's more fun. There's freakers or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Whatever. So interesting game. Uh, I was. I just realized. Did we talk much about God of War combat and stuff like that, or no? No, no, we did. We did. I think we just skipped by it. Yeah, we just skimmed by it. Uh, let's go back to it. Let's let's go back to it before uh, we go any further. Uh, combat was great. I like the the third person view, the new one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You having control of the camera now? I know. Even though before, like, you didn't have control of the camera, but it was always well-placed. Yeah, it, it was more, you know, aerial. Yeah, aerial, but, like, you could never move it. You know, yeah. it, the, the camera was uh, by the game designer pretty, uh, pretty much. Mm -hmm. This time, you, it's, it's very, it feels like a Last of Us mm -hmm. kind of view because yeah. it's, it's, it's not too far away, but it's, you know. It's pretty close, yeah. It's still pretty close. So you, you still get, like, almost the whole body. You don't see the feet for who the fuck cares. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of actually 
gameplay wise, I thought it was I thought it was very God of War like. You have an axe now. Mm-hmm. Like a, a little slower, a little slower than yeah. the other ones. Yeah, I guess. So but I mean, that's that's just one weapon. Who knows what the others? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Or like you know how you have, you got like different abilities. Right. You have one you fucking just go crazy with. Yeah. So. I liked uh, people haven't noticed, like, when he was slashing, you could actually see the gashes in the guy's leg oh, of the really? troll. Yeah, like, you actually could see the gashes. Oh, that's cool. So I was like, oh, wow, that's, like, that's really something. And I know Corey, uh, Corey Barlow, the director of this game, who also directed two, and was a big part of number one. He was saying, like, the animators and the engineers hate him because of what he's asking them to do in oh, this really? game. So he's, he's asking them to go all the way, you know? So I was like, oh, this is the next showcase, you know? Just as Uncharted 4 was, like, the big showcase of, of like, technology uh this might be the next one so yeah. and of course i love the father and son relationship that's what i'm looking forward to uh, the most it's different it's it's really but, but like it's all going down the path of having two people with you like you started the last of us and you have uncharted yeah that's that's becoming the thing now to have yeah. two people i guess you know uh, having a better relationship so yeah. good stuff you like it i, I like it yeah I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it good that's good uh days gone we said skeptical yeah but we like what we see so far but skeptical uh, Last Guardian yeah, yeah, release date. I, I mean, it has a good studio behind it, so. Yeah, I, I like the Golden Abyss, and I, I like some of the Siphon filters, so. Yeah. We'll wait and see on that. Uh, Last Guardian, finally. Finally, <laughs> yeah, release date. That's about it. Uh, yeah, that was because we've seen uh, almost everything they showed already. Um, yeah. Well, they showed another bird, monster, thing, dragon, bird, guy, dog, uh, man. Uh, I don't know. I'll play it. Uh, I'll, play. Me, me I'll play it, but I'm not super excited anymore. I mean, uh, that's the big exclusive this this this, this summer. Yeah, or I guess so. enough summer or uh, winter. Hol- Fall. Hol- holiday season. Holiday season. Uh, no, Gran Turismo Sport would be the big exclusive. Yeah. That's a bigger, much bigger seller. Yeah. But Last Guardian is the very uh, artsy game. Yeah. So I, w- I wonder how that's going to do. In terms of you know people waiting 10 years for the fucking game. About it's 15. Coming out. About 15. People, you know, a lot of people will fucking buy it. About 15 years. Uh, release date October 25th. Great. Good. Uh, probably pick it up. I will pick it up. Me too. I'll probably pick it up. Uh, just to see what it's about. Uh, I like the other two. Uh, let's talk about Horizon. What a great demo. Yeah. I, I like how you can hack the little fins and stuff like that. I mean, I'm still excited for that game. Like, I can't wait for it to Everybody's that. saying that's going to be a big game. Like, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to shock people how good it is. That's big words, man. I mean, it's, if you think about it. The, the team behind it already released a game for the PS4, so they know the, P- the PS4 hardware. Mm-hmm. They know it very well. They, yeah, Kills on Shadowfall by Guerrilla Games. And it's something completely different than what they've known for, been known for the last 10 years. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah that, no, that's studio. Crazy. And I think because they, they split up, that's why it's been so quick, you know? So they already had a team behind it. Yeah. So that's good on them, and that's game, that game's going to be awesome for sure. Oh, yeah. So I can't wait for that. Uh, open world stuff, cool. Uh, I heard she doesn't talk as much as in the, in the actual game. That demo, she talked way too fucking much. Yeah. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. You know? But uh, excited nonetheless. Uh, next game, Resident Evil 7. Or as we first knew it as, Kitchen. Kitchen. Before Kitchen. No, what a surprise. Yeah, that, 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 that was a big surprise. Like, yeah. Them taking hints from PT. People were like, oh, we really fucking like PC. Let's do it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, you could tell that they, they've gone... You know, Dead Space back. You know, they they want a horror. They want to go back to the horror aspect right. of it, and that's what made Resident Evil so good. But it wasn't a fucking action shoot 'em up fucking every game. I liked the action because it didn't scare me as much. And well, I, I want to be scared. I I, I don't want to be scared. I don't want to put a. I want to scare people. I don't want to be in a position of fear. However, uh, I I almost want to just buy the game based on the fact like, damn, it looks like they're doing something right. You know? Yeah, I, I, I downloaded the demo. Have you, have you played it? No, I haven't played it. I'm a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, apparently that demo's not going to be in the game, so I guess there's really no point. It's just to explain you the, it's just, it's just the like mechanics. PT. It's just like PT. Yeah, exa- it's exactly like PT in that sense. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the invaders, piece of shit, he sent me uh, a few photos of the game, like some of the scary parts. I'm like, mm, I don't need to play this. I don't, I'm good. I'm I'll, good. I'll wait for the game. I, I will not wait for anything. No, but what I liked about it was that they announced that the entire game is playable via VR. Yeah, what a big deal with that yeah, was. Yeah, that, huh? that, that's a pretty yeah. big deal. Well, uh, would you play that in VR? Yeah, I would. Even if you shit your pants? I, I think I will only play in VR. To be very honest with you. That game? That game. You have balls. 
that's why. I mean, like, for being you, a bitch, you have balls. You, you, you see, like, all these people, like, with these scary demos, because, like, VR is made for, you know, horror games. I wouldn't say it's made for horror like games, that. but it makes them that much scarier. It makes them better, exactly. Yeah. So, might as well just go right ahead and, you know, play it, play it all in VR and just be scared shitless. That's the point. Interesting. Or play it easy and then just waste through everything. It's By the way, scary. it's not just called Resident Evil 7, it's Resident Evil 7 Bio. Biohazard. In Japan, it's called Biohazard 7 Resident Evil. Just a little quick. Really? That's, that's how it's called. Uh, I feel like that's a way to set up that the next Resident Evil is just going to be called Resident Evil or just Biohazard. You know, it's going back to zero, I think. That's what I feel. I could be wrong on that. But uh, I'm excited to see how that game uh, pan, uh, pans out. Maybe you'll have more action yeah. as we go on. But uh, nonetheless, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's part of the canon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, then they announced the release date, October 13th for VR. Great. Uh, we know the price already. Three nine nine, forty nine dollars for the bundle. Yeah, for the VR, yeah. No, that's not already new. Yeah. So, no, well, we didn't know the exact date. The exact date. We knew, we, we knew it was October. We knew not, October, so. not which date. Awesome. It's coming soon. Can't fucking wait. Me too. Then they showed a game from uh, this new independent studio called Far, Farpoint. It was the, the Mars kind of game with the, with the gun. You remember? Do you remember? I remember this, no. You don't remember this? The guy was on Mars? No. Because it was a very odd game. Probably why. Yeah, and it was like finding a giant spider. Nope. I thought, no. What? <laughs> I yeah, it was fine. Like a, well, it was like a triangular. I don't remember this at all. It might be some, another creature. Yeah. I don't remember this at Why all. Let me look at a picture. No, I'm too, it's too far. Okay. Uh, that looked cool. A lot of people at the show floor said that was one of the best uh, VR games. Oh, it was a VR game. It was a VR game. Yeah. That's my wife. I think I, I think I dozed out during that VR part a little, for a little bit. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I don't I think know. you dozed out. I think you just honestly forgot. <laughs> uh, I think it was too busy eating popcorn or something. Like you might have been. Uh, Star Wars VR? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you care? No. Nope. Okay. I played Batman for a little while and I got bored of it within like two hours. Batman VR, which is a game that's winning a lot of awards. Yeah, that's, right that's very interesting because like maybe, maybe they just they, they do something like condemned that you know you investigate you crimes and stuff like that that's exactly what it was yeah it from was. what they said uh you start out like you're in the manor and you're talking to alfred and he's like oh this way sir and then you're like literally putting the gear on you know with the controllers on you're like you're literally becoming batman so you're seeing yourself become batman and then you go to a crime scene investigation and you know you move around and you do you do crime shit you do batman shit that's what it is that's pretty cool Oh, uh, it's winning a lot of awards. I, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, and this is this is not like the B team from uh, Rocksteady, the developers from Arkham City. No, the, this is their next game. This oh, is wow. their straight up their next game. They're like, yeah, when we finish Arkham Knight, we went straight to this. Oh, this shit. is the full team working on this. This oh, is wow. not just like a bullshit experience. This is a full a full game, from my understanding. Wow, that that's gonna be a seller. Is it is it VR exclusive? PS4? I have no idea, but they're promoting it heavily on VR, so it it might as well be an exclusive at that point, you know. Yeah, they probably make it for PC and they make it for you know Oculus and shit like that. Right. Easy for PC. Right. Uh, now, the, now that's pretty interesting. I knew you'd like it because you like you like Batman. I like Batman, yeah. Uh, next one, Final Fantasy VR. Do you not care? Because Prompto, it, fuck that guy. He's just only like one level, right? I don't. They. Ha I have no idea. They just said play as Prompto. Shoot the beast while your friends are fighting him. What I did like was that he was actually wearing the PlayStation VR. Yeah, I thought that thought was funny. You know, it was a, it was like, a funny this thing. This is interesting. They showed a, a trailer also before that uh, with some fucking terrible music. Yeah. So, uh, badly placed. Not a good, not a good E3 for Final Fantasy, in my opinion. No, yeah, no. On stage, what they showed be like on YouTube and stuff like that, like like little videos. That was great. They showed you using the car to fly up in the air and land and stuff like that. They showed a new city. That was cool. Uh, but what they showed on stage for the two conferences, uh, not sure. they shouldn't have showed that. You know, mm. wrong place to show it. Uh, fucking after that, they showed some uh, Star Wars shit. Not a Star Wars shit. Yeah, yeah, the Star Wars Lego game. Oh yeah. Uh, don't I mean, care. Don't care about Lego game. No Lego game. Lego game. Who cares? Uh, the best announcement, Crash. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot <laughs> returns. No, you see how I like he was like walking on stage and you see Crash. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Is, I thought, this, I thought this, the this tech behind that was pretty cool. Is it, this is interesting. I mean, they, they just announced it. I mean, we haven't seen anything from it. I assume it's probably going to be next year. Just, but it's just a, a remaster anyways. It's just a remaster of 1, 2, and 3. But they said from the ground up. Yeah. So that makes me think it's like, is it like that Ratchet and Clank remaster? Yeah. Because that true. was, people love that game. Yeah, that was really good. You know, so, and that was like a correct way to do a remastered or yeah. a remake, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if it's like that, that'd be interesting. If it's just like the PS1, just high res. 
I'm they, sure somebody will buy the, it. The, um, did, did they say who's who's developing it? No, no, but it's a remaster, so I'm sure I'm sure it's like a studio like Blue Point who did uh, the God of Wars and the Metal Gear ones, uh, HD. So I have no idea. Oh, we'll see. Um, who knows? I'm sure Activision's also working on that. Too. And there the, the, the wasn't a lot of release dates, Sam. Besides, you know, Last Guardian. And yeah, it was release years, pretty much. Years, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, after that, a few other shit. Ben Kojima. Uh, you should be Spider Man. No, he uh, Spider Man was after Kojima actually. Spider Man after Kojima. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was interesting. It was nice seeing Kojima work with Norman Reedus because it was like, no, the thing is, is that it's gonna get the Toro involved with it. If they are, yeah. Uh, what I like, like before we even talk about the trailer, how much they're treating him like a god. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, like how much respect the they're showing. They have. You know, the entrance, everything, every, or just like the end, like the announcement of like, please welcome one of the greatest people in the industry, one of the greatest creative, whatever. My God, what a far cry from how he was treated from that oh, yeah. other company. Yeah, from, 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 from Konami. From Konami, yeah. So, I mean, it's uh, it's very it's it's nice how they're treating him. Basically, in terms of trailer, I mean, the game is still fucking two three years away. So. Two three years away. Um, it was great to see like an idea of what it's gonna be. Yeah. You know, and like he said, like there's plenty of things to talk about in that trailer, and there is. I've seen multiple theories, multiple things talked about it. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, Norman Reedus is back. Maybe Guillermo. If he is, he is, and doesn't uh, make a difference. I mean, I mean, the thing that like you know, Gary Motor is known for is you know the way that it's shot. Like his movies are shot. Like if you if you watch like yeah, Chris, sure. like Christmas Peak, yeah, yeah, his last one, it's shot fucking beautifully. Yeah, the movie wasn't that good, but it was shot very good. Yeah, fucking, I know. I agree. I it was fucking made like fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hands no, down. he he puts that in every single movie he has. You know, he may not be the, the best director, but, but, but he has, he, he has he a great shoots, style. Shoots he shoots it. Uh, I think he has he a great style. It. Yeah, yeah, that that place like literally the entire movie of Christmas Peak was yeah, so it was the setting. Mm -hmm. That that was the main thing. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a I'm a fan of his, especially I love Pacific Rim, so uh, I like the guy. Uh, Hellboy was also another series that Hellboy. another that's another series that's beautifully shot. Yeah. So good man, let's see if he's in it. Probably I mean, not. I mean, I know he he got a sore mouth or a sore, sore sour taste from PT being being canceled. Yeah, I I'm assuming like maybe they. Having, because it makes sense, you know, you have these two people that were in a very extremely hyped up game, or these yeah, these three people, and then two of them are making another game, you figure, hey, maybe... He maybe got busy. I know he has a lot of projects. He's working on Pacific Rim too, so it could be a you know, production thing, you know? Like, he's just busy. His schedule is, like, packed or whatever. So, I guarantee, like, I know, like, he wants to work with Kojima again. Yeah. He said that many times. Like, yeah. he still wants to. So, maybe, but who knows? Okay, let's let's move on because there's honestly not much to talk about that. Yeah. Uh, Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider. God damn it. God damn it. It looked like, like when I first saw it, I was like, okay. I don't even care how it looked. I, I just want no, it. No, no, no. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm, I can't. Oh, I, that's cool. And I saw the trailer again. I was like, fuck yeah, I, I can't wait for this game. He said, it reminded me. It reminded me so much of the the good Spider Man games. I'm like, I kind of want to play this game. And like how much I how much time I spent those mm -hmm. games, I kind of want to. I really want to play it. I, I need it now. I want to see who the villain is. That I hope they bring uh they bring back Venom. That's what I want. Yeah. But I can't wait for that. You know, Me that's Spider Man's on an all time high right now. Yeah, you especially know? with the Civil War. Civil War. I mean, he's he's always been the most profitable superhero of all time, from what I read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is the most profitable superhero of all time, and he's becoming the most well known. Period. You know, really. You know, everybody knows Spider Man at this point. You know, his comics. Everything that he touches, is, it's gold, you know? And Civil War proved that. Yeah, because he, he was the, the first successful movie franchise. Yeah, like, yeah, that broke records here and, and everywhere. Well, so, what was Spider-Man with... Um, the, the, Toby! The, 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 the semi... The semi uh, Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi. Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi films. Yeah, those were great. Um, uh, I'm excited about this and Sonic doing it. Me Interesting. Too. Yeah, because all the rumors were Sucker Punch, and then all of a sudden, oh, it's Sonic Games. Everybody's asking, so what's Sucker Punch? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, oh. Don't ask me. We're working on Spider Man, dude. Mm -hmm. So, uh, nice. Insomniac back in bed with Sony yeah. and, and with a new game, you know? Well, they, they, they did Ratchet and Clank. But I mean, yeah, new. Well. This is completely new for them. Yeah, well, yeah, because they did Sunset Overdrive, but they did Ratchet and Clank, and now they have the Spider Man. Yeah, and it looks like Sunset jo Overdrive is not continuing anytime soon. So, that game was fun. Like, no, no, I, I've yeah, heard it was, was but really fun. I don't think it was receptive to much people yeah no, because you could see like when you went when like thinking about it playing such a playing sunset overdrive i could see how you know that could lead into a spider-man yeah that's what i hear a lot too 
Yeah. So, well, even if they didn't, they, they probably will never get a sequel. They at least got experience from that. Yeah. And I'll probably go to Spider Man. So there you go. Yeah. It could only get better, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that was it. Then Days Gone, we already talked about. So, overall, a year of Dreams 2 confirmed. Yes. I thought, I thought it was really. God, what a great show. I, I, I mean, after the first uh, demo, after the first presentation, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. This is Man. fucking. This is fucking great, you know. Like I said, for me, God of War was the number one. Uh, so, 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 so let's do this. Like, like I said, like God of War is my third. I can't imagine what are your top two though. <laughs> what are you? What are your top three? God of War number one easily. Uh, oh wow, I can't. I'm not gonna put the Kojima game there because it was unplayable. Yeah, no, no. Like, even something. though that if it was playable, I'm sure it'd be number one. If I don't even care, it's just Kojima, so it would be number one. Number one trailer, I would say Kojima. Yeah. But if we're talking about game. Uh, but no, gameplay? No, 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 I mean like overall in, in the whole E3. With gameplay, just it has to have gameplay. Let's say yeah, that, right? It has to have gameplay. Okay, God of War number one, easily, um, easily. Number two, <sighs> I like the Horizon demo a lot. I thought that was good. I'll put that as number two. Number three, probably South Park. But I don't even want to say I don't even want to put South Park in there because like that's just a like, fun, jolly game, you know? That's no. not. Trust me. That's. But... I no no I know but that's truth. I know I believe you but that's not like an uncharted experience you know that too it's not that it's not but it's it's a game that you literally have so much fun playing no no I hey trust me it, 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 I know that I know that the main point of playing games is to have fun and that game you just have I, so I agree much fun. but I like more than needless fun at this point you know as we all do so I I probably still will put South Park as number three but it could compete with almost anything here uh, in this list and the other list. So I would put South Park three. My mine South Park was number one. Spider Man was two. Got a War three. But Spider Man wasn't playable. No, it, it it showed gameplay though. Of it. Yeah, but it, it wasn't playable. Oh. Uh, That's I would put Spider Man probably as number three if it was playable, but it wasn't. That's why I'm not putting it there. And then, uh, fine, I put fine. Let's put uh, South Park, God of War, and then I want to say. I want I want to say maybe Watch Dogs two. No, it, uh, it, for honor. Yeah, hey, that could be cool. I don't know. I, I would say toss up between Bad Boy Land and um, Bad Boy Land, Bad Boy Wildland, Wetland, and um, Bad Boy Wet, Bad Boy. Get to the Wet point, Land. please. And um, probably Horizon. Maybe, maybe between those two, Horizon, that's good. And Wildland. Is I remember like the Tom Clancy games. I played Rainbow Six, and that was fucking awesome. Yeah, the last Rainbow Six wasn't that great. Oh, shit. And now you see this game, you know the drones and shit like that. Like, it was pretty awesome. Drones is the big thing with Ubisoft, if you notice. Yeah, with fucking Watch Dogs. I don't need drones. Uh, we get it. They're around us all, all. We fucking get it. I, I honestly want to get one, but they're so fucking expensive. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not going to spend so much money for... Well, I buy stupid shit. But I don't want to buy more stupid shit. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, I think my list is better than yours. They're, they're all good Our games. list have the exact same games. It's just different order, actually, if you yeah. think about it. But, oh God, what, what a what a what a time to be alive! I, I, I thought it was a really good E three. It was a, it was a great E three. It was a great E three, mostly for one conference, but two but, conferences. Yeah, Ubisoft. It was well, the conference sucked. Three conferences. <laughs> Treehouse of Horror and then fucking. Uh, the conferences, besides Sony's, were okay, but the games that they showed were great. That's yeah. what I want to say. You know, uh, EA Microsoft was whatever games wise too. Um, we saved the best for last. Oh, the Treehouse of Horror. Treehouse of Horror. <laughs> Why are we calling it horror? I don't know. It, it, it's, it's Simpsons with the Treehouse of Horror. Oh, I almost forgot. You're right about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've been dead on Simpsons forever. It, it deserves to die, Simpsons. Sorry, but it's true. Yeah, it's a special Halloween episode. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. Um, Zelda. Do you care? Oh, mm. you really don't care? Nope. Why? I I just. You fell off of it, you think? Like, the only Nintendo series I'm actually somewhat interested in is fucking Pokemon. That's it. They showed that? <laughs> showed that. I mean, like, but they just, like, taught everything that we already know. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They showed a few new Pokemon, like three. Yeah. Uh, three new Pokemon. Not a Pokemon. Actually, none of them looked, like, interesting to me, to Except be for the fucking owl. Well, I'm talking about the new ones. Yeah, the owl I liked. Uh, the cat I might like. Um, The fucking seal? Fuck that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You have no business here. Fucking stupid they, ass seal. They needed a water Pokemon. They could have made anything else. They could have made it a, a water salamander. You know, well, salamander, water automatically. But still, they picked a fucking seal. Well, the, the thing about it, 
what, Pokemon's 20 years old now? They fucking started running out of ideas. Yeah, maybe Pokemon they should Pokemon. fucking end it then. <laughs> maybe they you know, should. Like, how many Pokemon they have? Like, 700 Pokemon? Um, whatever. you're... You're probably not too far off to that number, to be honest. You know, eventually you're going to run out, you know, hey, let's make a, this Pokemon. Oh, we already did that. They've done everything. They've done literally everything. Yeah, there's literally only so much you can do. There's, they, they've only re- showed one new one, a koala. They've never done that before, and they finally showed one. <sighs> koala. Well, yeah. They, well, have they done an owl? Yeah, they've done an owl. Remember, uh, it was in the second generation. Uh, uh, knock, knock the owl. Knock oh, no, yeah, knock the owl, I remember, yeah. Yeah, Howlet. Ha- have they, have they done a seal? Yeah, Dugon. Oh, First generation. I don't remember this. And then they get a second generation one uh, with like a walrus, I think. I don't fucking remember. It's all the same shit now. I'll still buy it, but totally I can't imagine after this what's going to be, you know? I really can't. So, we'll see. Uh, did you see the Zelda gameplay at least? I saw a little bit of it. I mean, but I'm not going to buy a console just for like one game. But it's for the NX. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a console. I'm gonna buy the next. Just play fucking Zelda. Yeah. And stream 4K video. Yeah. It probably won't even stream 4K. And, and actually have internet on a console for the Nintendo console? Does, no, it will not have an internet. Internet's stupid. You wanna get hacked? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's their excuse. You wanna get hacked? <laughs> you wanna get hacked? You wanna get porn on Yeah, I do wanna get porn on it. Oh my god, that, that I could only imagine. But, anyways, I think that covers it. Yeah. Uh, Great year. Maybe yeah, we'll be there next year. Probably not. No, we won't. Nah. But, but we'll, we will we'll be at Anime there. Expo. We'll be at Anime Expo. And they have games there. Oh, they have games, really? Uh, yeah, they have games. Uh, so they have the DBZ game? Uh, no, fucking it. Probably. You're probably right about that. Uh, DBZ game, great game. Uh, Xenoverse 2. Party high five. Probably God Eater. They probably will have it. God Eater? And probably, is there, isn't there an Attack of Titan game? Mm-hmm. Probably have that, too. They'll probably have a lot of anime games and then just anime-ish games, you know? like Anime play, being played on Xbox One. Ooh, I doubt that. I doubt that. I, I think so. You're okay. I don't remember seeing Xbox over there when I was there last year. So, oh, really? yeah, there there was not one. That, uh, you know, all the Japanese cons. They had 3DS with, uh, I forgot which game they were showing, but they did have that. Yeah, the 3DS I, I could see. They had, uh, it was a, the, a Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Excuse me. Okay, you make me tired. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's, it's getting, you know, getting that time. Yeah, we get towards the end of our, for our bedtime. We're, we're pretty much done anyways. That's I don't right. think, uh, they showed other games, like, that weren't at the conference, Persona 5. Terrific fucking game. Uh, uh, Gravity, uh, Gravity Rush. Yeah, Gravity, oh, God, Gravity that looks beautiful. Gravity. You saw that? It really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. You played the first one, right? Yeah, first one. Did you beat it? No. Okay, of course. <laughs> Why did I ask? <laughs> Is that? I just want to know. I mean, what game have you beaten this year? Rush and Clank. Oh, that's right, you did. Ratchet and Clank. Did you beat NBA? <laughs> <laughs> I played like two seconds of you it. You have to know the story before you play it. <laughs> the story. You have to know the other. What, what, what games did I beat this year? Um, I don't remember. I think Ratchet and Clank is the only game. You beat Rocket League. I beat Rocket League. You beat more of Rocket League. I, I played like 800 matches. Jesus Christ. It's 700 or 800, I'm not sure. You was so fucking good. It is a great game. I can't wait for the Neo Tokyo map, actually. I'm waiting for that. I played a little last night uh, with uh, uh, the Invaders. Uh, uh, they, they, they have a new update coming in 20. Yeah, so that's, that's the one. That's the one. Anyway, it's going to restart the season. We have the rank matches. Mm. And then there's um, they're adding more shit to it. Okay. Pretty cool. Well, that ends the E3 extravaganza. Oh, no, it was episode 007. 007. Uh, another, what uh, time are we on, sir? What? How much time? How much time have we gone through? I want to say by about like 48 minutes. 48? Okay. Last five minutes. Last five minutes sec- uh, segment. New segment. I call it, please finish your games. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new segment. Okay? Please finish your games. Uh, why don't you finish your games? I don't know. This, uh, you're this, not that busy. I know you're busy, but you're not that busy. The, this has just only turned to a, uh, a, uh, a therapy session, right? Huh? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm, I'm not even writing about it. I'm just I'm just crossing things out okay. from uh, from oh, wait. Uh, podcast. Uh, we leave the 28th, right? For LA? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me get the calendar to be uh, safe. But yeah, go on. I think 20th. Okay. <laughs> We've been talking for so long and we keep on forgetting if you notice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will be on Charter before that. I doubt that. Doubt it? <laughs> you know, Chucky in one day got to where you are in like three weeks. And... You know he takes a long time to beat games. 
longer than you. That's, you need to consider your life. Uh, 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 I, I just have to end my life. Like you have to, you have to evaluate your life and say, "Hey, do I need to finish the things I started, or do I need to say fuck it? Do you want to eventually get married to the woman you love, or do you want to be like, can we just not?" <laughs> I told you, I'm trying to babe. I can't, I, I can't get married now. <laughs> You know, it... remember, you have to remember one thing and everybody has to remember this on Valentine's Day. This is random on Valentine's Day of next year. Persona 5 comes out. You people have to make a choice. Persona 5 or Valentine's Day. Wasn't there another game that they came out that's coming out for Valentine's Day? It was, it was like For Honor or something like that. Uh, not that I remember. Of, but the, fuck that. There was well, a game, that game could there, be. There was cool. a game coming out. I saw it. That was, that was they announced. I know it was Persona, but I don't remember another it was, one. It was during a conference. I, I, I couldn't I tell you. I'm fun. sorry about that. I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure it was like For Honor or something like that. Something that wasn't like important? Yeah. It was, it was something like that. It was like gruesome. It's like, oh, it's perfect for, for Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the 29th. We're gone. Oh, we leave the 29th? Yeah, you have an extra day. Yeah, whatever. Perfect. What is that? We're filming what day is today? The 18th? I have 10 days to do it. Yeah, you you actually do. You have a little more. Yeah. Um, you think you could? I think I can. I can do it. But But why don't you? Why do you just... Oh, you might have an illness. I know. You I might have get games and you just, might just play them like a quarter of the way through and say fuck it. You might have some sort of a hemorrhage in your brain that just says stop two hours. Oh, in. yeah, we're done. Like Metal Gear, I got because you said you just got stuck and you got frustrated. Yeah, that fucking... yeah well, that game I didn't. You you all f- fifteen hours in. No, you, you put more hours in fact. You remember. you put like thirty. Really, I don't remember. You put a lot of hours, I know that. It's just that fucking... And then we were playing stuff. multiplayer, and then we got busy, and we stopped. Yeah. And then when we stopped is when they did the update of, of um, our CQC didn't stun automatically. You have to do, like, another one. Oh, really? And it, like, fucked up everything. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, man, we had such a good... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> a good combo with that, you know? Yeah, having, having no fucking guns. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it actually worked, and now, like, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, that sucks. I know, I know, because I was like, oh, let's go back to it. And then when I was playing with the, the no good piece of shit invaders... It didn't work that way. It worked. Oh, that's, 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 that's no, I mean, I could, I put them in the floor and then I shot them in the head, but I was like, that's not, no, I, I just want to stun them and then fault them, you know? Oh, yeah. But it didn't, it didn't work that way, but you know, whatever. Um, so right now I'm playing, I wish I should have started this in the beginning or like where we were playing, but we, you know, E3 is very important, obviously. Yeah. Uh, just playing a little Uncharted multiplayer and I was finishing some of the games in my backlog, actually, that I haven't beat this year. So I have to say I I, have to, I just have to have one day where I'm doing nothing just to not. But you've had those days. No, I, haven't, I haven't had the last week. The day I'm doing then. It's my fault because I tell you to go to the gym with me. This is this is my fault. Yeah, fuck my health. For, forgive me. I just sit and play video. Forgive us, steam room. <laughs> steam room. Steam room and pool. Well, maybe... not steam the service. Let's steam... that now. No, we don't. What can we add to that? Um, Half Life Three. <laughs> like I give a shit. Like I give a shit. Um, I think I, finish Uncharted. I will help you in that last level of Metal Gear. Uh, maybe next weekend. We will live stream that. We will live stream. Well, it's recorded. Victor, I, I could easily do that level for you because I was I was doing an. Uh, I got it backed into Metal Gear actually a little bit, just doing some random missions that I never did before. Uh, a side ops, you know. Uh, I love that game so much. Uh, so I could I could easily do that for you. I think that like the problem with me is that like I try to, I try to get all the trophies, so it takes me longer to be. Don't don't do that, man. Don't do that. You, you find those treasures, man. Don't do that. Find those fucking treasures. No, I'm telling you, don't don't do the trophy hunts anymore. We can't do that anymore. You wow. can't. Because I, I remember a few years ago, you used to, oh man, you used to went crazy with the trophies. Yeah, I even took the trophy uh, uh, notification out completely. Yeah, yeah cause I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> you get those trophies, man. I, hey, I like the number. But I don't care for it popping up anymore. I'm like, yeah, that could go away. You know, that's just me. That's just my two cents. Right. I think we're reaching the end of this. Yeah, we are, right? Episode 007. Okay, your your next. session, I'm going to put a date for next session. Stay. Maybe you tell me the date? No, uh, I'll tell you when this is done. They don't need to know. Okay. So, I think that... We'll, we'll... What was it called? It was Live Another Day E3 special? No, we, we've changed the title completely. It's now called um, You Only Live Once, actually. You Don't Live Twice. This is the E3 special. Um, Daniel Craig has quit. I am now replacing him. Well, wait, so, so the title would be 
episode. No, I, I'm, I'm telling you the whole title. It's a long title. Right, so, 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 it's okay. a long. It's. I'm telling you the title. Don't interrupt me, please. Actually, actually, gonna hate us. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You need to make different decisions in Hollywood. You can't always do the same thing. You know. You you want to be Fast and Furious and be the same shit? It's cars, man. No, now it's heist. Actually, it is different now. Heist. Yeah, it's a rocket. Anywho. Okay, we're done. That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Kisses. Beautiful.